about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm forcing myself to wear a sweater today because I am manifesting fall What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Zoe and I make both bookish and lifestyle type videos and today I'm talking about all the books that I want to read in the month of September. Quick coffee story. I did not know that pumpkin cream cold brews are this good. <laughs> I have never had this before. I had my first one on Friday which was like two days ago and I have had one every day since. So, yeah. I'm not even a big fan of like the pumpkin spice latte. I don't really care for it. But there's something about this pumpkin cream cold brew that's like just a touch of pumpkin spice flavor, but mostly coffee, a little bit of vanilla. It's so good, you guys. It's so freaking good. Oh my word. I'm here to do a little sit down video. Haven't done one of these in a minute. I've been doing a lot of vlogs. I didn't vlog this weekend. My family had a little bit of a medical emergency. Everyone's okay, but I just wanted to take time to focus on that. It's also a long weekend, so I just kind of wanted to take some time off to relax. I'll be back with another vlog next week, but for today, I'm just gonna talk about some of the books that I hope to get to this month. A few might be familiar from last month because I didn't get to read everything I set out to in August, but that's okay. And then I have a few new ones as well that I really want to get to very, very soon. I'll really quick go over the repeats that you already know if you've been watching my channel. I really want to read slash finish these three books. I wanted to read all three of these for the Summerween Readathon, and unfortunately I just didn't get to finishing them. The first one is The Only Good Indians. This is by Stephen Graham Jones, and I'm actually like probably 70% of the way finished with this. I plan to finish it today, actually. I've been listening to the audiobook. It's a very like slow burn, dramatic horror story. It tells a story of four American Indian men. After they go hunting one night in their youth, I think the land was maybe like you weren't supposed to go on it, and something kind of like haunts them as they get older. So far it's been very slow burn, definitely like very intense action-packed moments. It is a little bit more gory slash body horror than I was anticipating. I do like it. I definitely need to finish it though to give my full thoughts, but this is one I plan to finish definitely very soon. <laughs> I am in such a mood for middle grade, so the next one I really want to pick up is Ghost Squad by Clarabel A. Ortega. The back of it says, be prepared, respect the dead, always have a cat. <laughs> it sounds so cute. It sounds like this little girl, Lucy, and her friend and her grandma, they all kind of like join forces to hunt these like mysterious forces that they accidentally set free a little bit before Halloween. Um, it just sounds like a really fun, action-packed adventure, a great story, and I'm just really, really excited to get to this one very, very soon. And the next book that I didn't get to pick up, but I definitely plan on picking up this month, is Kill Creek. This is by Scott Thomas. I can never find his name because it's like right in the middle of the picture. But I believe that this is about a bunch of horror authors who are asked to stay the night in this haunted house and it's more for like a publicity stunt than anything. But then I guess a bunch of crazy things do start to actually happen in this haunted house to these authors. That is all that I know. It's a pretty big book. It's like 400 pages, but I am so intrigued. I want to know what happens in the haunted house. I cannot wait to pick this one up. The next book that I want to read was so kindly sent to me from Monica from my wish list. This was Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This is a story about Justice McAllister, who is an honor student, grade A, really, really great at like debate, just such a good kid and student, hard worker, great friend. One night there's an incident, doesn't really say in the synopsis what the incident was, but basically he is placed in handcuffs by a police officer and taken to jail. He is released 
without charges, but the incident really, really shakes him. He really wrestles with how to make sense of it. It sounds like a lot of his classmates and teachers start to really see him differently as well and treat him differently after this incident, except for one girl that he has a crush on on his debate team. It also sounds like he starts a journal to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to kind of wrestle and figure out some of what he's feeling and what happened to him. And then one night he goes driving with his best friend. They're driving with the windows down, the music way up, and police once again stop them. There are shots fired and words fly and they are caught in the crosshairs of that. So I'm really, really excited to read this book. I'm excited to hear from Justice's perspective and it's a really short read. It's about 200 pages. So definitely plan to pick this one up very soon and I can't wait to get to it. All of the next books that I want to read are mystery thrillers. Two of them have been on my TBR shelf for way too long. I don't even want to tell you how long they have been there because it's been a minute. But one in particular that I really want to read, I actually just picked up, is The Swap by Robin Harding. I really, really like Robin Harding. I really like her writing. I really like her stories. I think that she just creates these really interesting family drama dynamic thriller almost like soap opera but not not as dramatic but just really intense situations that have so much like familial pressure and you hear from multiple perspectives usually so I anticipate this one being fairly similar to the other two that I really really enjoy. Kind of in true Robin Harding fashion this one has a cast of characters it sounds like there is one girl who always felt kind of like a misfit in her town and she ends up going to this pottery studio owned by another woman one night and they start this friendship and then someone else comes into the picture who is really longing for I think a baby. So she and her husband are trying to conceive and her and her husband start becoming friends with this girl who owns the pottery studio and her husband. <laughs> so the one girl who at the beginning finds the friendship and the woman who owns the pottery studio feels left out again. It just sounds like a tangle of friendships and relationships and uh, maybe possibly bad choices. I'm excited to read it. I'm intrigued. It sounds a little risque as far as like a reading choice for me, but I am very intrigued and I just really, really enjoy Robin Harding. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Okay, the next book I want to read is actually a Stephen King book and that is The Institute. I have read four Stephen King books in my lifetime. Elevation, The Long Walk, Pet Cemetery, and Misery. And I really, I was actually just talking to my friends and I was like, I really miss reading a Stephen King book. Like all of a sudden I'm just craving another Stephen King book and this is the one that I have on my shelf. I don't have any others by Stephen King currently. I definitely think I want to read another one in October. I'm not quite sure which one I should read. I want a really scary one. So you guys should recommend me. What's your favorite Stephen King book that I haven't read yet? I'm considering maybe Salem's Lot or um, oh, what's the one with the movie? Red Rum. Oh my gosh, what is it? I cannot think of that book title right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. The movie with, is it Jack Nicholson? Here's Johnny, Red Rum. I saw it like years ago and I didn't care for it, but I would love to read the book because I know it's a classic. Why can I not think of the name? <laughs> So yes, recommend me like a really good Stephen King book, please. For now, this one is on my shelf and I kind of want to get to it. It's so big. <laughs> it's so big. I don't know what I was thinking. It is um, like 550 pages, but I think there's an audiobook out there and I am just, I've been so intrigued by this story ever since it like before it was even out. It just sounded so good. It sounds like it's very like psychological. So basically, we start off by following the story of this boy named, was it Luke? Yes, Luke. And one night his parents are murdered by a couple of men and they come in and they take him, they put him into a black SUV and then he wakes up and he is in this room that looks exactly like his own room except there's no windows and his door leads to many other doors which behind those doors contain other children and all these children have different powers like telekinesis stuff like that. So it sounds like there's maybe like some experimentation going on with these kids and if they do things well they get rewarded but if they don't 
they get punished. And so it sounds just like really intense. I think mostly we're following Luke who is looking to escape. It's really intriguing. Like the cover, it almost looks like it's a train that he's in, which is just so unusual. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I don't know. I, I haven't seen many reviews or people who have read this one. So I, I'm not quite sure what I'm getting myself into, but I really want to read it. So I'm gonna. <laughs> The next book that I really want to read, it actually kind of reminds me of The Institute because it's called Inspection, but they're two different books, but I always kind of like feel like they go together for some weird reason. They don't. But anyway, this is Inspection <laughs> by Josh Mallerman, and this is the author who wrote Bird Box, which I love the movie. I didn't read the book, which I'm so sad about. I really want to watch the movie again, though, so I think I might pick up the book soon because I kind of forgot things. Anyway, I also really loved his book, House at the Bottom of a Lake. It's a short story. Highly recommend it. It's so, so good. But this one is called Inspection, and oh my gosh, it's one of those books that I really want to like, and I have high expectations for, so I've been putting it off in hopes that my expectations will be lowered, and they are a little bit, because I think I saw a couple people read it and they didn't love it, but I really want to like it. It sounds so interesting. Basically, it sounds like it's a story about two different institutions. One is full of boys and the other is full of girls, and they don't know the other exists. Like, the boys don't even know what a girl is let alone that they just like are out there somewhere so they're brought up in this school by their father they all believe that this is their father and they're taught to be basically like prodigies they're being brought up in like the arts and science and mathematics and stuff like that and one day one of the boys escapes and he decides to go and venture out and he ends up meeting a girl and so they end up realizing that there's two different institutions. I don't quite know what happens from there, but just that whole premise sounds so interesting to me. I am hoping for something like action-packed and maybe a little like dark. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I really, really do not. I hope it's a good story. I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost forgot. The last book that I am definitely reading in the month of September is our book club's pick for this month. I believe the title is called The House with the Chicken Legs. I'll put a little picture right here. It's super cute. I'm actually waiting for my copy, which is why I don't have it. I ordered the UK copy from Book Depository and the cover is just so stunning. So stunning. I love it and I cannot wait to have it in my hands and it says 12 year old Marinka wants a friend a real friend not like her house with chicken legs so they actually live in a house with chicken legs which I love sure the house can play games like tag and hide and seek but Marinka longs for human companion someone she can talk to and share secrets with that's tough when your grandmother is Yaga, a guardian who guides the dead into the afterlife. It's even harder when you live in a house that wanders all over the world, carrying you with it. Even worse, Marinka is trained to be a Yaga. That means no school, no parties, and no playmates that stick around for even a day. So when Marinka stumbles across the chance to make a real friend, she breaks all the rules with devastating consequences. Her beloved grandmother mysteriously disappears, and it's up to Marinka to find her, even if it means making a dangerous journey into the afterlife. Ah, it sounds so good. Like I said, I am super in the mood for middle grade, so I cannot wait to pick that one up. If you would like to join us for our book club, we will be doing a live show at the end of the month, so definitely recommend picking it up now. You should be able to fly through it pretty quickly since it is a middle grade, and yeah, we would love to have you for our discussion. Cannot wait to read that one. All right, y'all, yeah, well, those are all the books that I am planning currently to read. As we all know, TBRs tend to veer off in different directions as the month goes on, but I do have good intentions. I want to read these books. <laughs> You should let me know down in the comments below what book you are most excited to pick up this month. I would love, love, love to know. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I love you so much, and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Bye! About to leave, already packing. I'm not really asking